So, we already know the chords G major, C major, and D major. Let's use them as their own little chord group to practice switching back and forth between four chords. What we're going to do is we're going to use a backing track. We're going to play the G major chord for one measure, one, two, three, four, and then the next downbeat comes along the second measure on one, two, three, four, and play the G again. Then, after those four beats go by, you go over the C major. One, two, three, four. Strum the C major again on the next downbeat. One, two, three, four. Back to the G major. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then, over to the D major. One, two, three, four. And then, one, two, three, four. The second D major. That's where the whole thing starts again, back at G major. So, this gives us really good practice at switching chords with music in time and also at hearing where those chord changes happen from G for two measures to C for two measures back to G for two measures over to D for two measures and then the whole progression, the whole pattern starts again. So remember you're going to hear a hi-hat count in one, two, three, four. That gives you an objective reference point. It tells you when it's going to happen and how fast the tempo pacing of the music is going to go by. So how fast you're going to be able to count so that you know where you are. Okay, you're going to listen to the bass because it will tell you where those chords are changing as it walks up and down the scale so you can hear what chord you're supposed to be playing. G for two measures. C for two measures. Back to G for two measures. Then over to D for two measures. Then it starts again. Let's give it a try with the backing track.